Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with my Raspberry Pi 3B Plus running RetroPie and I want to show you how to mess around with the settings in Neo Geo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch your Neo Geo games from NVS to AES. Now the NVS was the multi-video system arcade, big stand-up arcade that Neo Geo put out. You had to insert coins into it. There weren't any settings you could mess with for difficulty or things like that. They did release a home console called the AES, and most of the games that were released on the MBS were sold for the AES also. Now with the AES, they did add some more user interface options, like changing the difficulty and a few other things. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to change that. Now I have Neo Geo set up here. I'm gonna go right in. Now the main thing you're gonna need here is your controller set up correctly you need to set up a hotkey. For instance, I'm using an Xbox One S controller. My hotkey is set up as my Xbox button. It can also be set up as select if you want to set it that way. But I suggest with these newer releases of RetroPie, go ahead and map a separate button beside select. I have the Xbox button mapped as my hotkey. We're going to go in here to Blazing Star. I'm going to start the game. For the core, I'm using LR FB Alpha, one of the best for Neo Geo. We don't have to change anything here. All the settings are going to be done inside of RetroArch. So if we start this game up right now, it's going to ask me to insert some coins because it's running in NVS mode. We won't even be able to skip the BIOS loading screen or anything like that. If you look at the very bottom, we have some credits. If I press select, it's going to insert credits like I'm putting coins into the NVS machine. Now we can totally change this. We'll also be able to change the difficulty level of the game. What I'm gonna do is press my hotkey that I have mapped on my Xbox controller. It's my center button and X. We're now in the RetroArch settings. We're just gonna scroll down to options, force Neo Geo mode if available. Now not every single game will be able to switch between NVS and AES but most of them will. I haven't run into one that I can't switch between. Even if you're set to AES mode, the games that are not switchable will still play without trouble. So I'm gonna go to AES. I'm gonna back up by pressing B on my controller. Now we can save core overrides, which will save this whole setting for every Neo Geo game that we play with LR Final Burn Alpha. Or we can select Save Game Overrides. It will only be set for this game. I'm just going to go Save Core Overrides. I'm going to back out. I'm going to quit RetroArch. So now I'm back at the Emulation Station menu. We're going to go ahead and start Blazing Star. But this time it's going to be starting as an AES game. We can press Start and skip the BIOS. No problem at all. And we don't have to insert any coins. I'm going to choose my character. Now we have some options here. We can go to easiest, easy, normal, MVS hard, hard, hardest, or godly. We're just going to go to MVS. Get ready. And we're now playing Blazing Star like it's running on an AES system. Let's exit out of here. Now I'm going to go for another game. We will do Metal Slug. My favorite being Metal Slug 4. We can skip the BIOS. From the main menu here, we have Game Start, How to Play, Option. If we go into Option, we'll go to Hero 5. Difficulty, you can set it to Easy. You can configure your controls directly from within the game. Game Start, yes. I'm going to choose a character. If you happen to double tap Select, you'll get this menu. You can set the debug dip switch on. There's a, ooh, where is it? There's a sound test menu in here. A lot of this stuff you really won't mess around with. It's really just alleviating the need to put in coins. Some people like leaving it set up as the MVS, but you can always change it to AES. If you ever wanna go back, press your hotkey, X on your controller, it'll open up RetroArch. Remember, options, set it back to MVS. You can save your core override or your game override. 
So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. This was just a quick one. I wanted to get this out there. I had a few people ask me about it, and I figured I'd go ahead and show it all. If you guys have any requests, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.